Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we are going to see some basic functionality of OpenCV. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to read an image, how to show it and how to save the same image with different name. So first of all, we need to import OpenCV in our program. Next, uh, I'm having one image here as you can see. This is in the same folder in which I am having this notebook. So let me show you the image. So this is the image. Now I'm going to uh, open this image using OpenCV. So in order to open an image, we will use imread. So this function actually read an image file. So this is the name of my file. I have to specify the name in single quote or double quote because it is taken as a string. And second uh, argument will be a flag. So this flag will specify whether you want to load your image in color setting or in grayscale or uh, there is one more uh, flag. So uh, that flag actually specify the load the image as it is. So for a time being I am just uh, uh, loading this image in the grayscale. So these flags are let me write here minus one sorry one zero minus one and zero is for grayscale. So when I specify zero here, it means I'm I, I want to load this image in grayscale. Now next uh, we want to show this image in a window. So in order to do that, we will use this another function I am show. Now in this function we need to specify two argument. The first argument will be the name of the window. So you can specify any name. So let's say first image and the second argument will be your image so this variable is having our image so I will write here I am me now what this function will do this function will show that window now what we want uh, we want whenever this uh, program is executed and whenever we want to close that window that image window it should be closed so for that purpose there is a function cv2 Wait key zero. What this function will do? This function will wait indefinitely for a keystroke. So this zero actually, when we pass a zero in this function, it means it is going to wait indefinitely until unless we press a keystroke. So as soon as we press a key uh, key in the keyboard, this function execution will be over and it uh, the, this program execution will go to the next instruction so in the next instruction what we will do we will destroy all the image windows okay so this is the program so let me execute it so here is our window as you can see the name of this window is first image which we have specified here and because of this zero this image is shown in a grayscale and this image this image window is not going to close until unless we press a keystroke so i'm going to press a key in keyboard so as soon as i press a key execution of this function completed and then this instruction gets executed and which actually closed all the image windows. So in our case there was only one image window so that was closed. Now uh, let, let's also see how to save an image. So let's instead of uh, showing this image if we are having an image in our program and we want to save it. So for save purpose there is a function I am right. So here first you need to specify the name. So let's say um, dog 
jpg and so this will be the name of the file which will be created and here you have to specify the image which you want to save so this image we want to save img so let's execute this program now let's see the folder so if you can see there is one more file is created dog which is an image file let me open so this is the grayscale image thank you very much for watching